the best way to prepare yourself for what you have not yet is by acknowledging what you have it's the vibration of appreciation it's the things are always working out for me it's the general statements that I don't know how it's gonna get here when it's gonna come or where it's gonna come from or who's gonna bring it I just know it's coming and that's enough I can feel it I can feel it because when you can feel it this is the piece that we want you to hear once you're feeling it you're translating the vibrational reality into a reality because the feeling is a reality can you accept that the feeling is a reality so once you're feeling it it's fast on the trail once you're feeling it it's gonna light up this way and this way and this way and you're gonna discover you're already discovering but oh so fun as this unfolds because you begin to realize that it was never getting anywhere that you ever wanted anyway it was the going it's the trail lighting up you don't want it all at once you think you do but you don't you don't want it all at once you want just enough to satisfy you now just enough to thrill you now just enough to fulfill you now just enough to call you now you see this is the thing what is manifested is what it is you'd like a lot more money you'd like a lot more organization you'd like a lot more momentum you'd like a lot more we're speaking pretty much for everybody you'd like a lot more of the things that feel good you'd like more of what is you'd like more of the good things of what is you with us you want more of the good things of what is but stand thinking about the more of the good things of what is and do you not acknowledge that in the wanting more of the good things that are more cars more houses more lovers more money can you feel in the wanting more of what is there's a vibrational flipping because you're calling yourself attention to what's missing in the what is you feel it a little bit that's what we were saying earlier Abraham please let's just get the money out of the vortex and into the bank until it's in the bank when you look in the bank for the money that isn't there you know what you feel this is the best way we've ever said it when you look in the bank for the money that isn't there how do you feel when you look in the vortex for the money that is there can you see how you have a better chance of feeling good friends how do you think you have become they didn't fly you in from other planets they're not trucking resources in from other places this environment is evolving how do you think these things are turning to things from thoughts how's it happening there's a vibrational realization thing that's happening all this stuff that you want to call reality isn't the reality that you think that it is it's your interpretation of a reality and until you get that then you're not going to have a smooth transfer from the vibration into the reality so we're giving you an easy way to understand this the money isn't in the bank yet and when I look at the money that isn't in the bank yet that I want and need I feel negative emotion and the negative emotion is because I'm looking in the wrong place I'm looking in the bank instead of into the vibrational reality if you look in the vibrational reality where it is now you'll resonate with the source within you you'll feel wonderful and when you feel wonderful that's the condition that is necessary for the thoughts to turn to things ah <sighs> that's the condition that is necessary for the thoughts to turn to things but if you are conditionally based running around sorting the things acknowledging the things measuring the things comparing the things noticing the things you've got and the things that you don't have then you can't move beyond the existing conditions ah you can't move beyond what is if what is is all you got going on in your vibration and you've trained yourself to be such obedient observers of what is that you slow the process from turning thoughts to things you slow the process of turning what you've already created what you've asked for and what sources lined up into the manifested equivalent you see so that's why you've been listening to us for a while 
you've heard us say things to you like if you can want to think about it because of the way it makes you feel in other words if you can take the money out of the equation and just put the emotion in the equation now you've got it you say the money will follow the money will follow the lovers will follow everything will follow the emotion but you've got to find the emotion you've got to be secure in the emotion you've got to show yourself that you can feel the emotion unconditionally you got to unconditionally love you got to unconditionally feel clarity you can't demand that the condition perform in a way in order to give you the knee-jerk response eventually it will and you'll have a really nice rhythm going but if you can feel it before it shows itself to you when it shows itself to you you'll feel it and if you can feel it before it shows itself to you when it shows itself to you you will feel it and after a while you'll have this momentum going where you can't tell if you're feeling it or if it's showing itself to you because it's all unfolding so rapidly so beautifully such a dance of perfection you and the source within you and all of the cooperative components of the universe assisting you in the fulfillment of everything you want you see nothing off limits nothing off limits you don't have to change the conditions. You don't have to get anybody else to even understand. All you got to do is choose fear or love. All you got to do is choose happy or sad. All you got to do is choose in this moment not to wobble, and you can, especially if you start early in the day. Don't wait till 3 o'clock in the afternoon and try to be wobble-free. Too much happened. Too much happened. Too much momentum. Start early. And keep it going you're doing extremely well but you are living like everybody you know some conditional love you're wanting the condition to shift first and in the absence of the condition shifting because it won't shift first then you don't do the vibrational shift Ooh, we have such a good conversation that we've been having lately don't we so you know that you are an extension of source energy you know that you're more than you see here in these physical bodies. You know that you are a vibrational being in a vibrational universe. You know the law of attraction is managing all of that perfectly. You know that life has caused you to ask for some things that you're not in alignment with yet. You know that that doesn't matter because the source within you is in alignment with it and it's in an eternal pattern of readiness for you just waiting for you to get on the path just waiting for you to create the atmosphere that allows it it's not going away it doesn't have an expiration date on it nobody else is going to sweep in and snatch it out from under you there's no possibility that you're not going to eventually realize it the only question is how soon are you going to realize it and the answer to that question is how soon are you going to let the condition of it not being here not bother you that's the rub it's not here and I'm bothered but when it's not here and you're not bothered because you can feel it it takes a vibrational tuning to a vibrational reality some have called it faith we call it alignment Today we're calling it unconditional alignment, holding the feeling, not the vision. If you try to hold the vision, it'll get squirrely on you. Don't try to hold the vision, hold the feeling. Hold the feeling. And what's the emotion? What is the emotion behind what you're reaching for? What's the emotion? You live in a situation comedy. <laughs> you do. You live in a situation comedy. But you're missing lots of the jokes. <laughs> so it's not fun we're having so much fun we're not making fun of you not exactly we stand in a place of knowing your well-being even when you don't know it so we are light about what you are living and when you get light about what you are living you'll have more fun and more ease and more money and more of all of the things that you want but so many of you say and mean if I had that I'd feel this and if I had that I would feel this and if I had that I would feel this and we're saying feel this and then you'll have that feel this and then you'll have that feel this and then you'll have that and there's such freedom in that because do you know there is more that you want 
that you are yet to receive than you have received. You are just scratching the surface of what's possible. And look how well you're doing. You're just scratching the surface. You got a place to live, but do you know what's coming? Your planet is doing fine economically, but do you know what's coming? You are enlightened to a degree, but do you know what's coming? So we just want you to understand that it's easy for us to feel good about where you are because we understand where you really are. And we are so excited about your realization of what already is vibrationally and the fun that we will all have as it moves from the vibrational reality into the tangible. Every one of you said, I'll go forth, tune to my frequency, and I will experience the most loved, blessed state of being as everything that I define from my perspective that is important or valued or wanted comes into realized manifestation for me because I am creator. That's what you said. You didn't say God is the creator and I am the student. You didn't say God is the puppeteer and I am the puppet. You said, I am the creator who has come into this environment, who will be inspired by the perfection of this variety to ideas that have not been before. And when the idea is born within me, I will feel the fullness and the power of it. And when I come into full resonance of it, oh, I will have a moment in time of perfection and I will do it again and 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 again because I am eternally creator. Today, you've come closer to the realization of how all of that happens than ever before. And you know, the piece that has been most misunderstood by you has just come into place for you. You got to create the emotional atmosphere that allows the realization of the path. It's not where the path is leading that matters. It's the path. We want you to have lots of money because we want you to have lots of fun. But we want you to have lots of fun because fun is fun. We want you to find somebody who loves you because that's nice. But we want you to love because that's what really matters. We want all of the things that you've identified that you want. But above all of them put together, what we want most for you is that feeling within you of certainty that I'm in the right place and I am at the right time and I am the right person and I am in the right vibration and now I can be the realizer of things that are delicious and wonderful it's your goodness we want you to feel it's your worthiness we want you to feel it's your rightness that we want you to feel it's your wholeness that we want you to feel it's us that we want you to feel you see? so when you feel happy that's us being happy and you're on the wavelength but we're happier because of what you carved out because you know what makes us happy moving into that place we have not been before is that expansion into that new that's what you provide you're willing to sift through the questions and sift through the contrast and experience the problems in order to launch the rockets that we all ride on. And then we stand in excited, exhilarated anticipation of you then finding your vibrational alignment with that. And together we experience the fullness of the manifestation in this time space reality. This is the leading edge. This is where that which man calls God. This is where source presents itself through you and because of you and same as you, you see.